Accumulating evidence from human and rodent studies suggests that in females, the steroid hormone estrogen enhances sensitivity to the motivating and reporting properties of abused drugs. Although there are numerous descriptive reports on this effect of estrogen, the neurobiological underpinnings are remarkably unknown. In this regard, my research aims to understand how estrogen promotes female vulnerability to addiction. To search for neurobiological correlates to the behavioral effects of estrogen, we targeted the nucleus accumbens, a brain region that mediates motivation and reward processes. <laughs> um, oh, within this region, synaptic plasticity of the primary output neurons, or medium spiny neurons, is thought to form a neurobiological basis for addiction. Interestingly, my research demonstrates that in female rats, estrogen produces synaptic plasticity reminiscent of that produced by drugs. The similarity in these findings suggests that estrogen might prime female medium spiny neurons to respond more strongly to the future actions of drugs, and begs the question as to how estrogen produces synaptic plasticity. Previous reports in our lab demonstrate that in female medium spiny neurons, estrogen activates metabotropic glutamate receptor 5, or mGlor5, a G-protein coupled receptor already implicated in the etiology of addiction. To further these findings, I demonstrated that in that estrogen, that mGlor5 is required for estrogen-mediated synaptic plasticity. These results suggest that mGlor5 is involved in the mechanism by which estrogen enhances drug responses in females. Interestingly, there may be another player interacting with estrogen and mGlor5, like estrogen and mGlor5, the cannabinoid system, particularly cannabinoid receptor 1, or CB1, is emerging as a key mediator of addiction processes. I hypothesize that in females, estrogen, mGlor5, and CB1 are all parts of one continuous pathway. Uh, one critical observation to this hypothesis is that in medium spiny neurons, postsynaptic activation of mGlor5 stimulates the release of endogenous cannabinoids that bind presynaptic CB1. Thus far, I have evidence that both mGlor5 and CB1 are required for estrogen to enhance drug responses in female rats. However, future studies will more directly examine uh, this uh, mechanism within the female nucleus accumbens. Uncovering this novel mechanism of estrogen action in females may provide more directed therapeutic targets to treat or prevent addiction, specifically in women. Thank you.